Ever wonder why at the end of the month your bank account seems to be gasping for air? Well the answer might be quite simple. It's all about personal budgeting. Now hold on, don't switch off just yet. I know the word budgeting might sound a bit boring or maybe even intimidating but trust me, it's a game changer when it comes to managing your money. You see, personal budgeting is like a financial roadmap. It helps you navigate through your income, savings, and expenses in a way that's effective and efficient. Think about it like this. Without a map, you might get lost, right? The same goes for your finances. Without a budget, it's easy to lose track of where your money is going and before you know it, your bank account is looking a little thin. But with a budget, you have a clear picture of your financial health. You know exactly how much money is coming in, how much is going out, and most importantly, where it's going. This control over your finances can be incredibly empowering and can help you make informed decisions about your money. Another crucial aspect of personal budgeting is that it allows you to plan for the future. Whether you're saving for a vacation, a new car, or even just a rainy day, budgeting can help you reach those goals. By allocating a certain amount of your income to savings each month, you're essentially paying your future self. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a bit of future security? So there you have it. Personal budgeting is not just about penny-pinching or depriving yourself of the things you love. It's about understanding your money, taking control of your financial health, and planning for a secure future. So, if you're tired of your bank account running on fumes each month, it's time to dive into the world of personal budgeting. Trust me, it's an adventure worth embarking on. Before crafting a budget, you need to understand your income and expenses. Let's start with income. This is the cash that you're bringing in every month. It could be from your full-time job, part-time work, freelancing, or even passive income like rental properties or dividends from investments. To get a clear picture, add up all these sources. If your income fluctuates, take the average of the last six months to get a reliable figure. This gives you your total monthly income. Now, on to expenses. This is where you spend your money. And it's not just about the big ticket items like rent or mortgage payments. It's everything from your morning coffee to your streaming subscriptions. Start by tracking every single expense for a month. You might be surprised where your money's going. Once you've tracked everything, it's time to categorize. Break down your expenses into categories like housing, food, transportation, entertainment, and so on. This helps you see where your money is going at a glance. Don't forget about those irregular expenses too. Things like annual insurance premiums, vehicle maintenance, and birthday gifts. These may not come up every month, but they can make a significant dent in your budget if you're not prepared. And here's a crucial point. Be honest and accurate. It's tempting to underestimate expenses or overestimate income. But remember, this isn't about making your finances look good on paper. It's about understanding where your money's going so you can make informed decisions. This stage might seem tedious, but it's worth it. Knowing your income and expenses gives you control. It's like having a map when you're lost. Without it, you're just wandering around aimlessly. With it, you can see where you are, where you want to go, and how to get there. And don't worry if your first pass isn't perfect. This isn't a one-and-done deal, it's a process. You'll likely need to adjust as you go along, and that's okay. The goal is progress, not perfection. Remember, the more accurate you are with your income and expenses, the more effective your budget will be. Now that you know where your money is coming from and going to, it's time to set your financial goals. Think about what you want to achieve financially. Break it down into short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals. Your short-term goals could be saving for a vacation or paying off a small debt. Medium-term goals might include saving for a down payment on a house or starting a business. Long-term goals often involve retirement savings or creating a substantial emergency fund, but remember these goals should be smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Be precise with what you want to achieve, know how to measure your progress, ensure it's achievable, make sure it's relevant to your financial situation, and set a clear timeline for when you aim to reach it. Having clear financial goals will guide your budgeting process and keep you motivated. Armed with your income, expenses, and goals, you're now ready to create your personal budget. Diving headfirst into budgeting might seem daunting, but let's break it down. The first step is to allocate your income towards three main categories, needs, wants, and savings or debt repayments. Needs are your essential living expenses. Think of these as the non-negotiables, housing, food, healthcare, and transportation. If you're not sure what a need is, ask yourself, can I survive without this? If the answer is no, it's a need. Wants, on the other hand, are the nice-to-haves. These are things like dining out, vacations, or that latest gadget you've been eyeing. 
They're not essential to survival, but they make life more enjoyable. The final category is savings or debt repayments. This is where you're investing in your future, either by growing your nest egg or by paying down debts to free up more of your income in the future. Now, how much of your income should go to each of these categories? A popular starting point is the 50-30-20 rule. This guideline suggests you should allocate 50% of your income towards needs, 30% towards wants, and 20% towards savings or debt repayments. This rule isn't set in stone, and it's okay to adjust these percentages based on your personal circumstances. Maybe you live in a city with a high cost of living, so your needs take up 60% of your income. That's fine, as long as you adjust your wants and savings accordingly. Remember, the goal of budgeting isn't to restrict your spending. It's to ensure your money is working for you. It's about making conscious decisions on how you spend your income, so you're not wondering where your money went at the end of the month. Your budget is your financial roadmap. It's designed to help you reach your financial goals without getting lost. Stick to it, make adjustments as needed, and you'll be on your way to financial freedom. A budget isn't set in stone. Life changes and so should your budget. Just as we constantly evolve in our personal and professional lives, so should our budget. It's not a one and done deal. It's an ongoing process, a living, breathing document that requires regular review and adjustment. This is the only way it can continue to serve your financial needs effectively. Now you might wonder, why is it necessary to review and adjust my budget regularly? Well, life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. Maybe you've encountered an unexpected expense like a sudden car repair or a medical emergency. Perhaps you've experienced a change in your income, a raise, a bonus, or even a job loss. These shifts can significantly impact your budget and you need to make sure your budget reflects these changes. Let's say you've just landed a raise. Congratulations! But instead of splurging it all on a fancy vacation or a new gadget, consider adjusting your budget. You could allocate a portion of your increased income towards your savings or your debt. This way, you're not just earning more, but you're also improving your financial health. But what if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you've just lost your job or encountered a hefty unexpected expense? Don't panic. It's times like these when your budget serves as your financial lifeline. It's time for you to review your budget, identify areas where you can cut back and allocate more towards your emergency fund or necessary expenses. Remember to be flexible and realistic when adjusting your budget. If you've cut back on dining out but find yourself missing your Friday night takeouts, it's okay to adjust your budget and allocate a small amount towards it. After all, a budget should not feel like a financial straitjacket, but rather a tool that helps you achieve your financial goals while still enjoying life. So, take some time every month to sit down and review your budget. Make necessary adjustments. Keep track of your spending and savings. This way, your budget remains up-to-date, realistic, and most importantly, effective. Remember, a budget is a living document. Regular reviews and adjustments ensure it continues to serve your financial needs. So, let's quickly recap the key points about personal budgeting. First off, it's vital to recognize how crucial budgeting is. It's more than just tracking your income and expenses. It's about taking control of your money and your future. Speaking of income and expenses, understanding them is the second key point it's the foundation of any budget you need to know where your money comes from and where it goes next we have setting financial goals these goals give your budget purpose and direction they could be saving for a house a car or even a vacation after that we move on to creating a budget it's your financial roadmap guiding you towards your goals finally don't forget about reviewing and adjusting your budget regularly life changes and so should your budget it's not set in stone, it's a living document that should evolve with your financial situation. With these steps, you're on your way to mastering personal budgeting. Remember the journey to better financial health begins with a single step, and that step is budgeting. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.